Starting in 2013, 30 years after the first underwritten MLP IPO, yield codes have emerged as a new type of yield-oriented capital markets vehicle. Many similarities and several differences exist between MLPs and yield codes, with some confusion on how to distinguish it between the two. Both are yield-oriented vehicles. They're IPO'd with an expectation of a minimum quarterly distribution or dividend amount being paid to public investors. This expectation is supported in the IPO prospectus by a forecast of distributable cash flow typically a year for MLPs and often two years for yield goes. The key for both is minimizing entity level tax leakage and the distinguishing factor between MLPs and yield goes is how they achieve that. MLPs benefit from publicly traded partnership exception under 7704 of the tax code. This requires 90% of the MLPs income to be qualifying income every year. Yield Co's have assets that do not generate qualifying income, making them ineligible for MLP qualification. Instead, Yield Co's typically use an UPSI structure, where the public invests through a blocker corporation, and that blocker corporation typically has a step up in basis in the underlying assets. In terms of capitalization, early Yield Co's were straight C Corps with just common equity outstanding, often using the UPSI structure. More recently, some yield co's have appeared more like traditional MLPs, including using a partnership as the publicly traded entity and checking the box to be taxed as a corporation, and having subordinated units and incentive distribution rights. <music>